looking at this thinking, what are we talking about today? And today we're going to talk all about organization. So I am a big organization um, freak. I love to have things organized and in their place and labeled and all of that fun stuff. And if you're one of those people, then you are going to love this today because there's something about having things in a system where they're easy to find that just makes me happy and it makes it a lot easier to do projects. Um, so obviously y'all know I love Bible journaling and I do other fun crafts and things like that too. But if I don't have things in their place and organized um, it's really hard for me to maybe find time or I feel overwhelmed to even jump in and get started with a Bible journaling entry or a devotional kit, um, especially with a little boy now. So if you're like that um, and it just kind of overwhelms you because things are everywhere, then this is going to be great for you and I hope it will help you. I've had people ask me before about organization tips and um, this is just some really cool, fun new products that I think are going to make your life a whole lot easier. Um, at least I hope so. So I want to say first um, that these are some brand new goodies from Dayspring. So they, um, you know, several months ago stopped their devotional kits, hopefully temporarily, maybe they'll bring those back, but they wanted to take some time to work on some new Bible journaling products that y'all would love. And um, I'm hoping that we're gonna see even more come from them with Bible journaling as far as organization or um, you know just products in general, Bibles, that kind of thing. And um, so this is just maybe a first small step toward that and a huge thank you to Dayspring for sharing these with me um, and letting me try them out and have some ideas to share with y'all. If you love what you see here, um, head to the link down below in the description. It'll take you right to these products where you can buy yours if you would like. So um, what's really cool is that I'm not only just gonna show you the products because anybody could do that, right? You could go and look at a description or you know pictures, but I wanna give you ideas on ways to use these that maybe um, would kinda get you thinking out of the side of the box. So let's go ahead and I'll save this one for last. And I'm gonna start with this right here. And this is um, their Dots. Um, I think they're calling it Dots, but it's the Dots Expanding Carry All Case. And I love it. It reminds me of like when my, um, you know, grandmother would have her coupons and stuff like that. And so I just think it is so beautiful. It has this really fun scripture, he who started a good work and you will complete it, Philippians 1, 6. Really fun dot pattern. Y'all know I love my spotty dot washi, my spotty dot traveler's notebook. So this is great because it just goes right along with it. And then these little um, labels that they put on here, um, you can just take that right off. And that one, usually they'll just pull right up easily. And that one just left a little spot and I'll take it off in a minute, but it'll come off pretty easy. And then we have this um, little um, expanding latch there. And then when you open it up, look at all of these little sections that you have. It's so fun. You get tons of sections to organize. You have these little um, plastic tabs up here at the top, if you can see that. So you can put in your labels if you want to know exactly where something is and which pocket to flip to. What's really cool is that it comes with um, these little labels with um, alphabets. So if for some reason you want to use this, I think this would be great to use it for alphabet stickers or things like that. Um, if you have different sets that you want to put in there or if you, um, some people keep theirs organized by letters, um, you could do that. Um, so those are just some, I think like a little freebie in there that you could use, you wouldn't have to. You could make your own little cute ones to go at the top. But let me tell you what it says, it actually says that it has 12 of those storage pockets um, and it can you know be a great organizer for Bible journaling calendars planners cards notes anything you can think of so oh I just read that and thought about cards how cool would that be for like birthday thank you wedding sympathy baby and you could have them all organized if you wanted here's what my thoughts are and how I think it would be fun to have um, to use this so when I get done with a devotional kit um, sometimes you have bits and pieces of it left over, right? Or if it came with a stamp set, 
I might sometimes want to go back and revisit that kit, you know, maybe the next year when I'm going through a season where that topic is what's being discussed in that devotional and I want some refreshing in it. I want to be able to keep that stamp set. I want to keep any little bits and pieces that came with it that are left over, um, any stickers, paper pieces, the washi that went with it. I might want to keep that with the kit. And so I like to have them um, like some people and sometimes I will just throw those in a stash. So my washi goes in my washi box, stickers in the sticker box, and then I just go and dig back through my stash. But for some things that I know I'm going to want to go back and reuse, I want to keep them together. And so that's what I think this would be really cool to do. And so, um, like, here in these first few sections, I have where, let me, um, I want to fix this where I can um, show it to you better. Um, so, in these first few sections, I had a devotional that I worked through. And so, I have all of the pieces of that devotional in here together. So, like, in the first pocket is the stamp set that came with that devotional. In the next pocket, I have stickers that came with it that I didn't use up. And so, I have all those stickers right there together. And even a little piece of this really fun fabric that a ribbon that I was using um, for little um, bows at the top of my page. Now, the next one has the paper pieces that were left over from that devotional, and they're all right there together in those first few pockets. So, that's an idea to keep sets um, of devotionals together in here. Another idea that I wanted to give y'all if you just shopped the big Bible journaling sale from Day Spring and you have lots of different supplies from that, you may want to keep them all together in one place. So, like these. These are the little designer clips from Day Spring and Illustrated Faith. Here are a pack of black and white. I have those in there together. This is the washi sticker booklet, and I have it in there. So if you bought little things like that, you know, you could put them all together in here. Here's your third idea for this. Use it to organize all your stamps. So here's um, one of the stamps that Day Spring has. It has all these basic elements that are really fun. So you could put those um, in here. And what's really great is that you could probably, because of the size, I hope y'all can see that, you could probably go ahead and just put two stamp sets in here and then have your label up here at the top for which stamp set it is so that you're not having to dig every time to find it. That's why I love those tabs. So if you wanna put alphas in here, you could put your alpha stamp set and then put a basics or um, you know an element set like this. Um, then if you have another set that went with the uh, Women of the Bible, you could put, if you did that devotional, you could put all those three stamp sets together in here, label it Women of the Bible stamps. So this is a fun way to keep stamps organized. Um, if you shop the Day Spring sale and you bought a lot of the older um, kits that they had, the devotional kits, maybe the Women of the Bible, the Holly Girth ones, or these that Illustrated Faith had done with Day Spring a long time ago, you may want to keep all of them in here. So you could just stack them up. Here's um, another one that I had. I could go ahead and just add it in there, and then I would have all of my kits um, together. So when you get ready to work through one, you could do that. Or, if you wanted to keep this for just one kit that you got, you could break it down, have all the different elements of your kit in a different pocket. So, I just wanted to give y'all some ideas for ways to use this. I love that, like I said, they have the tabs so you can keep everything organized. I think what my thing is going to be is when I have extra leftovers from kits, I'll keep them in here together so they're all in one place. I've been needing somewhere to put them and they've just been thrown all together in a been and I've been wanting to have them, you know, buy the kit organized down. Um, printables, like printables from my Etsy shop that I will have and sometimes I might have, you know, a couple pieces left over for a kit. I could just slide those in here as well and then label it, you know, um, for the different ones. Holly Girth Kit 1, Holly Girth Kit 2 and those types of things when we did those devotionals. Um, so that's just another idea. If you're traveling, how cool would it be to um, have different pieces that you're going to need for maybe a project if you're doing them in 100 days book right now um, the devotional journal and you're going to be traveling um, this you know fall or in Christmas you could have different things that you might need um, for those you know for that book or this summer traveling and have you know those pieces that you want in here all in one place so it does you know close really well because it's got this band here um, so that it will keep everything in there. It's not going to be falling out and look at that I've already put stuff in here and it does expand with you and I still have plenty of space for this to expand with me um, I love that it has the scripture on the front of that too So I'm excited about that and that's probably what I'm gonna do is use it for old kit 
um, elements that are left over. So that's the first one. And here is the second one. Oh, now I really do love this one too. And um, I've got several ideas that I've been um, kind of thinking over that I think will help y'all. So this is what they are calling the um, Create Five Tray Carry-All Case. And um, the case has, of course, these five trays in here, and it's clear front and back. Um, and I may throw around my supplies a little bit showing y'all the back of it, but the back I wanted to show you because it's clear and your five little trays that are in, inside have this really fun black and white color scheme with the hand lettered um, phrases, like it says celebrate, create, um, things like that. And then you get the uh, one with the black and white stripes. So really fun colors. I love that they went with a black and white, keeping it simple, because these are colors that everybody can love and it will match any, you know, style or craft dream that you may have. Now, the little packaging, it does come with a couple little packaging that I've already taken out that were inside of the trays like that. So they've got some ideas. You could put some pens or markers, paints, washi, and I'll show you what I've put in mine in a second. And then I just wanted to show you this so you'll kind of know this has five removable trays um, for storing supplies and tools, durable clear material so you can. I like that too. They thought to do it clear because that way I can see what's in it and I'm not you know, having to pull out each one to try to find what I need. I know exactly where it's at. And then um, up here at the top, you have this little handle. So it's great for travel or for carrying it, transporting it. If you do small groups or um, any kind of Bible journaling group, um, this is great for that. So what you could do is fill this thing full of supplies. It's got a carrying case, so it's easy to transport. Then when you got to your group, just take out a tray, lay it out on each table or whatever, and then you would have that. If you do Sunday school or um, vacation Bible school, you could just pull out each tray for each kid's table, and then they would have their own supplies. Um, that's another fun idea. And then you have this um, Velcro that's really strong Velcro to keep it closed. So you don't have to worry about the trays falling out if it does get you know, flipped upside down. It's all good and secure in there. Um, so great for travel. Like I said, great for transporting if you have to transport back and forth for Bible school, for Bible journaling groups, that kind of thing. And excuse the noise because it is a really strong Velcro, like I said. Um, now, what I wanted to show you is what I've put in here, and you can kind of see already, washies. So I have like a lot of washies in here. I've got my navies, blacks, and my thin little washies there. I have lots more washies, so I could fill this up plus more probably with washi, but I wanted to put some of mine um, that I'd use a lot because these black and whites, the navies, are neutral colors that I'm going to use more often. I love using the thin ones just to add touch of color sometimes. And then these I just absolutely adore. These are mostly my florals um, that you see here. So I just kept them all together, my fabric florals. And then these are like some of my outdoor nature. So I just put those with the florals as well. And then... And this one, I had more washi, and I didn't fill it up yet, so it's kind of moving around. But some of these are washies that have come from previous devotional kits um, that I just kept together. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Even though the colors don't go together, I like having them because they, I know they go to, from kits. <laughs> and then, here's another idea. In this one, I had put... Um, a couple little markers that I have in here that I use sometimes when I'm filming. And then, um, like if I want to write out a coupon code or something for you guys, the Illustrated Fate colored pen pack, I put it in there. And you can never have enough adhesive runners on hand. So, got to have one of those in there. And then in the last one, I put my acrylics. So I have this acrylic paint set from Day Spring and Illustrated Vape. I put it in there. And also these little paint cards for paint scraping if you wanna do that on your pages. So I have those on hand. And then I have this fun little watercolor set. And so um, it fits perfect right in there. So what you're seeing here and what I've pulled is really a great travel idea. So I have a little bit of everything. So if I'm traveling, I've got what I need. The only other thing you might, if it would fit, is like a pair of little mini scissors and you would be set. You've got washi, you have adhesive runner, pens, paints, um, you're good to go, right? So you could definitely do that. 
Here's another idea. If you work through a devotional kit, like I talked about, maybe you grab some of the kits from Dayspring um, in the sale. This was one that Dayspring and Illustrated Faith did together. This was the um, Stronger Together kit. And what would be really fun, if you're traveling and you wanna go this route, you could get your kit break it down and use this to organize all the elements of that kit. If you pull additional supplies that you have on hand, um, how great would it be to have all of that in one box? You wouldn't have to use that just for traveling. If you're like me and y'all know I like to have a storage bin to organize everything for one kit so it can move throughout the house with me very easily, um, especially with a little one running around, this is a way that I could do that as well. So if you have like the kit washi, put it in here. If you find like these colors and some of your other washies that you would like to pull to use, you could have that. Then you could have a section just with like the um, markers, the Faber-Castell big um, pit pens, like I have this one right here. You could put those in one section. If you like using gelatos, you could pull your color gelatos you have and have them in a section. Um, put your acrylics in there. If you like also um, using like colored pencils a lot, pull the colors you would need and have them in a section. Then you would have a place for your basics like the adhesive runner and scissors. And then your little paper pieces that come in the kit would fit in here. You could put those in a bin. Um, and the only thing that wouldn't fit would be like your devotionals. Um, but those, because you have space, you could just slide right in here on top of the trays and it wouldn't damage them. So that's an idea. I just wanted to throw that out there because we see this as just organization, but it could be so much more than that. It's not just holding washi and holding pens. It could actually be to use for a kit organization for a devotional or for travel or like I mentioned for vacation Bible school, small groups, workshops, anything like that that you might do. Um, that would be great. Slide the box out. Here goes to kid table one, kid table two, right? And then they could have their own supplies and you could have like crayons and um, scissors, glue sticks or something in each individual one. If you're a teacher that um, travels maybe from like a classroom to classroom and you, you move around like that with students, this would be a fun way to use this or little games that you might play, flashcards. Teachers could use this for back to school for that kind of thing, for organizing their supplies in the classroom. I'm telling you, this is not just for Bible journaling. You could use it for so much. Um, one other thing that I'm thinking I might use this for is when I'm up here filming, I like to have like some basics uh, when I do process videos or things like that. And sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, and I'm, you know, trying to find what I need and I want it quick. I don't want to have to walk away from the camera to go get it. And I just want it right by my table or my desk. What I do or what I would like to have is this ready to go. So I have my adhesive runner in here. I've got some pens. I've got my markers that I would need. I don't have to run out. Um, and get it and come back. I have, you know, paints if I need it. Oh, I forgot my paint scrap card or my paint card, just uh, do my paint. Nope, it's in there, I've got it, okay? So that kind of thing would be nice to have it on hand. Um, I've got those pens, I could put some other like black pens in here because I do, do use black a lot. Ink pads could go in here um, and an ink acrylic block because I have an acrylic block here, but I don't know, this one's really thick. I don't know if that one, and it does, it fits in there. It pops up just a little, but it will still close. Look at that. So that's another thing. I could have my acrylic block here, plus in black ink pad, and then I would have it ready to go if I do process videos um, on, you know, when I'm recording. Cause it's nice if you're recording just to have everything right there with you. So that's just an idea for another way, you know, that would be really fun to use this. I'm telling you the possibilities are endless when you start thinking about different ways you could use them. I hope this will help y'all though, with your organization. I, I do have people ask me sometimes how to you know, keep things organized. I love that Dayspring is trying um, you know, to come out with new things that are gonna help us and um, things that are different and fun. I love, again, I think that this is clear because um, I can see exactly what I have in here, what I need, but they didn't disappoint. They went ahead and did this really fun design since it is clear, so we have something pretty to look at. Great for the strap for travel. Um, and then this one, like I told y'all, I love that they've got the tabs up here at the top so I can keep everything organized, and it's quick to find it when I'm, you know, thumbing through. I can quickly find what I need, um, and this would be great 
uh, for travel, especially flying or, you know, want to pull out your stuff on the airplane. This would be smaller um, than this one. You could just grab this one out and you're good to go. You could have your traveler's notebook in there along with your supplies and get an entry done on the plane. So there are just a few ideas of some of the new um, Bible journaling and I just want to call them organizers, not just Bible journaling, but craft art supply organizers that are great for Bible journalers, for teachers, um, for small group leaders, anybody like that. I think these will be great and be a big help to you. So if you like these, let me know below in the comments. There's a link down below in the description also where you can grab yours from day spring and I'll be back again very soon. I hope these organization tips um, have been helpful for y'all and if you have any other organization tips let me know in the comments below or any questions and I would be glad to help you out there if it's something I haven't covered um, today and I could you know do more organization in the future if y'all were interested. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.